So in this video, I'm going to talk about the importance of setting smart goals and finding and cultivating, developing your passion and then your purpose. So what do I mean by smart goals? So smart goals is a wee acronym that is used frequently in business. Um, high performers use it uh, just as a way of being able to set goals and uh, the S stands for specific so when you set goals you want to be specific you want to know exactly what it is you're aiming at what your what direction you're heading towards you don't want to set vague or unrealistic goals ambiguous goals you want to set goals that you know exactly what you want to achieve when you want to achieve it how you want to achieve it and why are you doing it? Why am I going to the gym? Why am I reading a book a week? Why am I trying to learn a new language? Whatever it may be, you know, you need to know exactly what it is you're aiming for. So the M in SMART stands for measurable. And again, you need to know how you can't monitor your goals if you're not able to measure them. You're not able to gauge where you are, where you're sitting. Uh, how far you've came from when you started uh, so having goals that are measurable is immensely um, valuable um, and you'll be lost Christopher Columbus right a compass so to speak if you don't have goals that are measurable and um, you're able to consistently track your progress when it comes to achieving your goals and objectives in life so the A in SMART stands for actionable so actionable basically means can I take the action to do this? Are there any barriers to me being able to actually go out and achieve this goal? Can I put the action in place day by day, week by week, month by month in order to go and achieve these, goal, these goals? What are the little steps am I going to implement in order to achieve the goal? Whatever it may be. Um, and so the, the R in the SMART acronym for goal setting is realistic. So you have to set realistic goals as well. If you're living in your ma and dad's basement and you want to be a millionaire, chances are you probably aren't gonna be a millionaire. Um, you have to be realistic with goals. Um, you can't set, set these lofty, grandiose goals that just at the current time and the current capacity of your abilities right now, you just, aren't able to achieve them. So it's really just being able to sit down and think, right, um, maybe I want to run a six minute mile. That is something that is realistic for a lot of people. If they put in the work, put in the time, put in the training. Uh, if you on the other hand said something along the line, lines of, I, run, I want to run a four minute mile, or I just want to like, something that's just, especially if you're starting off, that that's just not realistic. And certainly and the time frame in order to achieve that is which is what we get on to get going to get on to next is you know you have to factor that in like how long is it going to take for me to achieve those goals um and whatnot so the final uh, letter in the acronym for setting smart goals is t which uh, stands for time bound so you do want to set a bit of a time limit whenever it comes uh, to achieving goals um you know, I often like to break it down into short term goals, medium term goals, long term goals, and you can even bracket in what sort of time frame you want to achieve those goals. Typically, with short term goals, it could be like a daily goal, a weekly goal, more medium term goals. You're talking the likes of months, a few months. Long term goals, you're talking about the likes of you know years, maybe even up to a decade. So, the thing about setting a time on the goals is it does actually it helps immensely as well because you know right i have a year to achieve this it does kind of spur you into action it does hold you accountable because you're like this is the time that i've allowed myself to that i've allowed myself to go and achieve this goal so it really does spur you to action and really will help drive you forward to achieving your goals so the video today was addressing smart goals the kind of like the second the, the next thing i want to talk about um is passion and purpose so those two things go hand in hand now people often think it means the same thing trust me it is not the same thing so what is your what is your passion your passion is something that your own unique abilities 
uh, on our, or an angle. If, like the thing that it, whatever it may be, it could be anything. Like it could be playing football. It could be fucking underwater basket weaving. I don't care what it is. It's whatever. Like you wake up every morning and you're like, I want to fucking do this. This is something that drives me forward. This is something that I genu have a genuine love doing and want to do. Often, regardless of what stage you're in, like mentally or physically, um, how you're feeling. Like for me, my passion is fitness. I love fitness. Um, I love serving others. This is what I'm going to get into as well with purpose. So it's about finding your passion. Now your passions will change over time. Mine certainly have. Fitness has remained a, a consistent passion throughout my whole life, but I've had passions come and go, and it's really just a case of discovering what your passions are and finding the underlying and meaning behind the passion so that will enable you to challenge your expression of whatever it may be. So when you find whatever your passion is, like I said, um, it could be working with, with kids, like maybe you want to get into youth work, you want to be a counsellor, that is in your purpose. So your purpose is how, your purpose then is how you relate to others in the world. Your purpose is how you serve others in the world. And the winning formula, the ideal, what I'm sure everybody wants to do in life is finding that passion that they love and then uh, coupling it, combining it, achieving that synergy with your purpose so that you use your passion to help others and that essentially is your purpose. So for me, obviously my passion is fitness. I have loved the journey, my own journey of getting stronger, building muscle, improving my fitness, improving my health um, and now I want to essentially help others achieve the exact same things I've achieved over the stretch of 10 years that I've been training and, and dieting for 10 years straight. And that's what wakes me up every morning. I wake up every morning with an incredible sense of of purpose, uh, confidence in what I'm doing, a, a desire, a true, genuine, authentic desire to help others grow, prosper and flourish and help them achieve their health and fitness goals. And it, Nothing brings me more joy than seeing someone else achieve their health and fitness goals. So that is my so that is my purpose in life is to help serve others and achieve their health and fitness goals and even help them achieve other things like the just personal growth in other areas as well, helping them improve their mindset, um, even like helping them with like changing certain behaviours that doesn't serve them well and will like help them implement behaviours that will serve them and like improve their lives. So that's the key takeaway, like I've said, is over time your passions will change, but it's finding what really, you will find something every, I don't care what anybody says, everybody will find one deep burning passion that will often stay with them for the rest of their life. No matter what, no matter who you are, you will find it. And it's just a case of then combining that passion and trying to use that passion to serve others, to help others grow and prosper and maybe even help them find their own passion. And, and then ultimately they will have that will help them find their purpose as well so that is today's video and like i said if you are somebody who's lost and you feel like you have, don't have any passions or you don't you, a big problem is like nobody knows what their why is nobody knows what their purpose is listen it can take time that's another thing as well it can take time and you just have to be patient with it patience coupled pa three p's patience passion purpose it often comes over time. It is a process. I'll throw in another P there for process. Patience, process, passion, purpose, all those things, like they're all fucking connected. Like so just be patient and accept the fact that it's a purpose and trust me you will find your passion and then ultimately you will then once you find your passion, cultivate it in the right way to serve others, help others, and that will be your purpose in life. So thank you for watching the video and I appreciate it. Love you all. So get fucking after it.